listening to The Mark Cox Show. Follow the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Mark Cox Show. horse and carriage, this I tell you, brother. You can't have one without the other love and marriage. Very nice. That is my tribute there, Chris, to you and Becky for your wedding this weekend. How about that? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm looking at the TV. I'm waiting for another for an episode uh, of, uh, what's that show? Yeah, yeah. Children. Married with Children. Married with Married children. children. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like that. <laughs> no. Uh, I'll but, never uh, let Becky get that hairstyle. <laughs> And hopefully you're not selling shoes a couple years from now. So that's all I'm saying. Hopefully it doesn't get that bad. (laughs) Oh my God! Well, so so this weekend is the big day. Saturday, you're getting married. Saturday. I'm I'm honored to that I'll be there with you when that happens. Just in case you try to leave, I'm going to be the one holding the door. Exactly. That's your uh, that's your designated. Thank you. uh, What was that look for, Liz? You'll be the one holding the door. (laughs) I'm going to block the door in case he tries to get out. I thought you were saying, I'll be holding it open. I was like, you're not supposed to do that. No, blocking <laughs> means blocking. I'm going to be holding the. Becky's told me I have to put my foot against the door in case he tries to escape he and all won't. that good stuff. It's so. a guy thing, Liz. He's got, <laughs> he's got my back. That's, that's what it is. You know, at my wedding, I'll, I'll tell this on myself mm-hmm. um, because I really was oblivious to it. My, my father-in-law had managed to get a hold of my shoes mm-hmm. and taped help me <laughs> on the bottom of them. Oh. So when I was kneeling up oh. there... Uh, when we were saying the prayer, I hear all this snickering in the audience, and I didn't know wow. what was going oh on. And I didn't find out till later that that was on my shoes. You just gave me something to check for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you, I would, yeah. I would not do that to you, but your father-in-law, I don't know. I'll be checking um, my shoes Saturday. <laughs> Let, let's uh, let's go to the uh, to the White House where uh, the president is uh, out in the Rose Garden again. It looks like I think he's been meeting with uh, the Prime Minister of Greece. Yes. Um, hopefully, he's not getting any economic uh, <laughs> help from him. <laughs> exactly. uh, let's let's hear what the president's saying. Countries currently spending at least two percent of GDP on defense. My administration has also informed Congress of a potential sale to Greece to upgrade its F-16 aircraft. This agreement to strengthen the Hellenic Air Force is worth up to $2.4 billion and would generate thousands of American jobs. How are they paying for that? We also are making great strides in our economic cooperation. The American people stand with the Greek people as they recover from the economic crisis that recently afflicted their nation. I've encouraged the Prime Minister in his continued implementation of reform and reform programs that I have totally reaffirmed our support for a responsible debt relief plan. So the president to the font on the bottom of the Fox News Channel right now says Trump, colon, tremendous opportunities before us because that's his favorite word tremendous it's going to be you if they if they stop making payments on the planes you just repossess them right? I guess so <laughs> keep right a key out. so you know how you can go get them back if you need to or they do that think? thing where they don't start you know how they do cars now if they, they don't they, yeah they have the gps where yeah. they have like the remote and they can be like oh, oh they you can, didn't make your payment they this can month. turn it Bye. off while you're driving it can't they see that if you do that with a jet that turn, could be... i don't think they'll turn it off while you're driving but like if you park yeah. they're like oh you're not moving anymore I I have nothing but res- I have a lot of really good friends who are Greek. Um, you know I one of them, too. Nick, who was Nick's in here the other day. Bill and I, 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 I'm Costa? just saying. A lot but, of Greek but friends the, out there. But the folks over there in Greece um, have really screwed things up for their economy. And, and, and uh, the European Union's bailed them out a couple of times. But they, they've still, in large part, several of their elections have been based on getting rid of the people who want austerity. Yeah. Well, you know why we're doing this, don't you? You know Greece and, and Turkey are a- enemies. They hate each other, and they don't like the fact that we're getting closer to Greece. And oh. you remember, Turkey is a NATO member. Right. And I'm sure they are not happy with us selling F-16s to 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 Greece. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. But they're all they're both members of NATO, right? I don't know if if uh, if Greece is a member. No, of I NATO. think that's what he just said right. a minute ago. They okay. they they've they pay their two percent every okay. year uh, okay. to into NATO to fund it, and some countries aren't. I know. Turkey, I'm pretty sure it's what Turkey he said. Turkey wasn't too pleased with this with hmm. this deal. Oh, I don't know. Um, here here's what I want to ask you yes, at at the news conference yesterday, or this was it yesterday? I guess it was yesterday. The president made some comment. About um, uh, about whether or not the, the former presidents had 
written notes to the families of soldiers who've been killed in action or not. Or called. Or called them. And called a bunch them. of Democrats got really butthurt over that. that like, they, they came running out to slam him for daring to suggest that. And I wish I had the bite here. Uh, one of them was from Leon Panetta. Um, and he was arguing that the president was dead wrong about this. And um, I thought what was interesting is that Sarah Sanders came out and said former employees of previous administrations who claim that they know better than we do on this are wrong. Yeah. And that I think what the president was trying to do, and I could I could be wrong, is is draw a distinction between simply writing a letter or occasionally going to some event at an airport when multiple bodies were brought back versus making a direct phone call to a family when when their loved one arrives back in the country. He said he did a combination of those things, but the fact that he mentioned Barack Obama by name and other presidents has teed off the left. Did you hear it? I did, but I heard what he said, and he he gave the impression that um, Barack Obama didn't call or write I don't think he didn't say call or write he said some of them didn't do all of it some of them would just write some of them would call look one of the most solemn duties a president has is sending young men and women off to war and when one of those people come back you know in a body bag or not alive and gave the ultimate sacrifice I can see how that particular president or someone within his staff may be a little Offended, offended by them. A spokesman, That's my thing a spokesman for the DNC, Brian Gabriel said, "Quote: Trump's jaw-dropping, disrespectful lie is not based anywhere in reality." And uh, another a symptom of his deep-seated obsession with tearing down President Obama. I guess they're still mad that he said he had Trump Tower wiretapped, which we've now found out. He did. Um, Sarah Sanders, here's her quote. The president wasn't criticizing predecessors, but stating a fact. When American heroes make the ultimate sacrifice, presidents pay the respects. Sometimes they call. Sometimes they send a letter. Other times they have the opportunity to meet family members in person. This president, like his predecessors, has done each of these. Individuals claiming former presidents, such as their bosses, called each family of the fallen are mistaken. So somebody's splitting hairs there. I don't know who it is, but Sarah Huckabee Sanders is a spin meister, and she's going to oh. she, she, wait, wait, no. Let's, let me finish. She's a spin meister, and she's going to spin it the way that the White House wants it to look. What we need is the actual quote of the president, so we can discern it our, for ourselves. We need to find said. it. I had find it upstairs, actual, and I didn't bring it down Find the actual here. quote and let us discern it. Now I don't want to do it. what Sarah Su- hand. Su- I'll go Sanders get it in the is, break because I know is, right where it is. is. She's spinning. Okay. And I heard his comment yesterday. You did? Yes. Okay. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I will. Um, is that the Greek prime minister? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know him. Um, anyway, I'm not going to go back to that for now. But, oh, you almost forgot about oh. this. I, I, I miss my... I, I take every opportunity to play this. <laughs> Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the bandango? Scaramouche is in hot water again because some underling that. at his firm put out like a Twitter poll... Saying, do you know how many Jews were killed in the Holocaust? I didn't see that. That's what it said. It said, how many Jews were killed in the Holocaust? Was it one to two million, two to three million, or more than five million? And and they've argued in hindsight that they were doing it to highlight ignorance of the basic facts about the Holocaust. But instead, it ended up uh, offending a lot. A lot of people. And Scaramouche was out of town when it happened, and, and some underling has taken the blame for it. And this is this was the communications director. Communications. Director. Yeah. And yeah, people but, but Scaramouche didn't do it. it was one, his communications director did it, I guess. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That poor guy can't avoid uh, controversy, can he? Somebody's I, out to get him. I heard him over there. He was over in England for some panel, and oh, my God. It, the way he was just kissing up to Donald Trump, still Scaramouche. Yes, well, like, I think he's still a fan. I know, but it's like, dude, you don't need to kiss up to that point anymore. You're in a station in life, and you've had a job where you, you don't need hey, to do that. We got to go. Thanks, Chris Arps. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations on your pending nuptials. Yes, yes. And to you. your lovely bride to be, Becky. Give her my best. Thank Love you, you, Becky. All right, got to run. We'll be back with uh, 